Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Let's talk about Mage PvE specs in Phase 5 of Season of Discovery. Shout out to the Mage Discord. They are the ones who do the research and compile all this data. I am not the one figuring these things out, I am just the messenger. Quickly want to go over all these changes that have come on the PTR. Balefire Bolt now stacks 5 times instead of 10. That means you will want to stop at 4 stacks. The Spirit and Damage bonus were increased from 10% per stack to 20%. The Fireball Dot from the Mage Tier 2 Draconic 6 piece has been increased to 100%. The Mage ZG Tier Set bonus also affects Spell Frostbolt and Frostbolt now, but its effect is being reduced to 65%. The ZG Neck now buffs Spell Frostbolt as well. Staff of Rhyme now provides 100 Frost Power instead of 80, making Winter's Chill slightly more viable. Okay, so let's dive into the four builds. Keep in mind that these sims are based off full bis. They are also with full raid buffs. Moonkins give us Dream State, which is huge for the Spell Frost specs. If you don't have a Moonkin, you will do a lot less DPS with the Spell Frost builds compared to Fireweave. Also, keep in mind that for Fireweave and both Arcane Spell Frost and Frost Spell Frost specs, it is pointless to run them until you have completed the full set. That means six piece Draconic Tier 2 for Fireweave in 5-piece ZG set for both Arcane Spellfrost and Spellfrost. Here are the potential builds we will play. There is Standard Fire, Fireweave, Arcane Spellfrost, and Frost Spellfrost. Starting with Standard Fire, this will be the spec that most people play at the start of Phase 5. You can't play any other rotations without their full sets, so this is definitely how you should start the phase. It's virtually the exact same rotation we did in Phase 4, the only major difference is Balefire Bolt changes. We no longer stack to 9, it's 4 now. It ends up just being a lot more Frostfire Bolt spam. In full phase Biss, its DPS is comparable to the Winter's Chill Mage. There is no reason right now to play the standard fire spec long term. For talents, we are using the standard fire talents. Cold Snap the reset, Icy Veins, nothing crazy. Moving on to Fireweave, it's doing more DPS than Standard Fire now. Again, you want the 6-piece Draconic Netherwind for this build. The 6-piece bonus is what this set is all about. You are essentially doing the same rotation as Standard Fire. Now, you are just weaving in a Fireball every 8 seconds. You'll want to pop all your cooldowns on pull and start your Bale Fire Bolt spam. Once you're at 4 stacks of Bale Fire Bolt, you will send your first Fireball. Then you just spam your Frost Fire Bolt. You still spam Fire Blast on cooldown as well as your Power Blast procs with Hot Streak. Once your Balefire stacks drop, you repeat. Make sure to recast Fireball every time the dot is expiring. For talents, it's basically the same as the standard Fire build. You should put 5 points into Improved Fireball instead of Impact though, since we are using Fireball with this build. Alright, let's talk about Frost. Winter's Chill is our lowest performing DPS spec. It does have its value though, and it will significantly boost the damage of your other mages. Shout out to Ziffnab in the Mage Discord. He made this little chart to show the difference in DPS having a Winter's Chill Mage can be for all specs. If you want a rough idea of what that looks like, here it is. This spec uses 5 piece ZG set, and you need the full set. We use Molten Armor with both Frost specs. The rotation is very simple. Pop all cooldowns on pull and spam Spell Frost Bolt. When you get Fingers of Frost procs, you want to batch the Deep Freeze on the second Fingers of Frost. Once all of your cooldowns end, you want to pop Frozen Orb, Cold Snap, and then a second Frozen Orb. You will then pop your second Icy Veins and continue to spam Spell Frost Bolt and Deep Freeze Rotation. It is a very easy rotation. You're really just spamming Spell Frost Bolt the entire time and using your Deep Freeze, Frozen Orb, and Icy Veins when they are off cooldown. For talents, you are going to be Deep Frost. This spec uses Staff of Rhyme, so Ice Barrier will be taken. You will want to maintain this as much as you can. On to our last spec, Arcane Spellfrost. If you are playing Arcane Spellfrost for your guild before you get 5 piece, you are pranking them. As you can see in terms of gear, it is the exact same as the Winner's Chill spec. The only difference is we aren't using Staff of Rhyme since we don't get Ice Barrier. This, in general, will make it easy to swap between Arcane Spellfrost and Winter's Chill week to week. 
The rotation is the exact same as the Winter's Chill Mage, except you add Arcane Power and Presence of Mind to your opener. Here are the talents. Pretty standard as far as Arcane Frost DPS goes. This build is insanely cooldown dependent. The reason why it is doing number one DPS on Short Fight is because of that. Seriously, in your opener you are using Mind Quickening Gem, Icy Veins, Presence of Mind, Arcane Power, potentially Berserking from Trolls, and Alchemist can use the Mildly Irradiated Rejuvenation Potion. These cooldowns front load our damage a lot. Arcane Spellfrost is doing about a 100 more DPS than Fireweave on 1 minute fights. What happens if we change that to a 3 minute fight though? Fireweave is outperforming Arcane Spellfrost by around 300 DPS on longer fights. Take this into account when deciding your spec. If your guild has slow kill times, Arcane Spellfrost might not be the spec for you. So, which spec am I playing? Well, I am in a speedrunning guild. We don't really ever do parse nights. We just try and clear as fast as we possibly can. For me, overall raid damage is most important. A majority of your time is spent on trash. So I've decided that I will be playing Arcane Spellfrost in my guild. We have a multi-mage setup to get myself Winter's Chill, so I don't need to worry about that right now. I think the setup of two Arcane Spellfrost mages and one Winter's Chill mage is the ideal setup for speedrunning. While Fire does have amazing AoE damage, when packs die too fast, Living Bombs don't go off. Frozen Orb doesn't have that problem. And Frost also runs Living Bomb, so if the packs do live long enough for explosions, combining Orb with Bombs will be massive for overall damage. I am also traditionally an Arcane Mage player. For those who have watched my early Sod videos, you know that. So I'm just drawn to the spec. The thing about these four specs is they are all reasonably close in DPS. So if you're in a casual guild that doesn't care that much about min-maxing, seriously, play whatever you want. You might want to coordinate with your other mages though. A lot of fun combos here. Shout out to Lucenia in the Mage Discord as well as everyone else that put in the work to updating these sims. I will probably be releasing a ZG Croc Farm video sometime this weekend, so stay tuned for that. I'm hyped. I can't wait to try out the new specs. Best of luck, boys, and see ya in Phase 5.